Say morning, everyone. Morning, everyone. <laughs> we're just uh, we're returning the trailer back to King's this morning, so we're just getting all the chains offloaded, uh, all of our stuff, and then Ben. Mr. X driving assessor is going to take me out on a driving assessment and he's got all the sheets to mark me down properly. So, yeah, so let's see how that goes. Do you reckon you'll get any miners? Oh, I don't know, I might have picked up some bad habits along the years. <laughs> we shall see. So, I want you to pull forward from the trailer and then recouple to the trailer like it's a brand new trailer that you've not seen before. There's no runner ramps. Took them off. Go on. What are you doing now? Uh, trailer checks before I hook up to it. Because if I've not hooked up to the trailer before, I need to check that there's no damage of the trailer so that I don't get the blame. That's true. What else do you need to check before you couple up to it on the trailer? <laughs> trailer brick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely on. Good. Right, everything else is looking good. So I'm going to get in the truck and back under it and then we'll go from there and I've got a little tip that I've learned these past couple of years for those newbies that want to get into HGV driving there's a little tip on coupling and recoupling uncoupling <laughs> Right, so for this particular unit we don't have run-up ramps so I've got to make sure that I lower the suspension enough to not clip my mud wing tops Yes Yes, you do. We use the suspension to lower it down. I'm going to do this like I'm a total newbie. So, if you're unsure, you can always stop, put your handbrake on, get out. So now I can see I need to lift it up in order for the fifth wheel to get into the kink. Tug test, not burnout. <laughs> it's a bit muddy up here, it's slipping. Alright. So recently, obviously I've been doing a bit of agency work and I've learned that a lot of companies are using I don't know what the thing is, it's called black. So for coupling and uncoupling, think of the word black. So now that I'm picking up, I'm gonna do that but backwards, so starting from the key, which is make sure the king pin's locked in. Thing. Yeah, so that's in, and then the C is the clip, which ours isn't attached, but this is the dog clip, which you hook on. We will reattach it now. And that stops the pin from coming out. Then it's A, so for airlines. This has gone from an assessment to a tutorial. It has, hasn't it? I yeah. just thought if anyone's watching that wants to learn, I'll go through that as well. 
The L is obviously your legs. I've always got this little thing, so I used to wind them the wrong way. But now, if I'm picking a trainer up and I know I want to go, you wind the legs forward. And that brings them up. <laughs> Don't ask, I've just learned it that way. away correctly. I've left my number plate. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then, last but not least, well it's not, B, bricks. So, take the brake off, you push it in. This is the final part, number plate. What are you checking? Oh, oh, it's a bit loose, isn't it? So now we've got to do vehicle checks. Okay. I'm going to do my inside checks first. <laughs> Why is there a handprint? I can't see it. <laughs> oh. Assessment, then. What do you want me to do? Take them off every time I'm in the Lose control. the shoes! Um, obviously I've already started the truck earlier. I've already checked the engine oil and the coolant. Well that's because we started it earlier. You can use the panels and stuff to check your oil and coolant, all them sort of levels. Or you can even lift the bonnet if you want, stick your finger in, do the dip test. <laughs> um, but we've already done all that. Um, you can check that all the lights and everything are working on your dashboard, um, your mirrors, like if I was to shut the door, check your mirrors are in the right position, there's no damage, windscreen, no damages, window wipers are in fully working condition, you've got some washers, washer in it, <laughs> your horn, um, Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> We're at a sticking point. Make sure your chair works. <laughs> yeah, this is where this is where drivers start to list things that you just wouldn't check. Like, well, I'd make sure my seat was attached to the lorry. Yeah. Well, you need to make sure it works, otherwise you're not at the right driving height. Yeah. So, seat position. Go um, on. Is that it for the inside? No. There's not. There's more. Make sure your steering wheel works. Yeah, you're gonna, that one? you're gonna struggle to see if it works sitting still. Interior lights. Interior lights. <laughs> Just making things. Make up sure that. your tachograph is, is in fully working condition. What else? Correct. What else tachograph-wise do we need to make sure we've got? A card. Well, yeah, but. <laughs> Yes. Is it actually? Yes. Where's that? Here. Yes, well done. Somewhere. This, yeah. this. Yes. <laughs> and what else? What, now we're thinking along those lines. Yeah, all license is clearly visible. Yeah. However, ours is in the post. We haven't got it yet. Um, oh, there's all sorts of different signs. This, yeah. make sure... What's that? MOT? Yes. <laughs> Make sure the vehicle has a valid MOT. Yes. Yeah. That's it for the inside. Okay, fine. Yeah. yeah. Right, so again for this truck, normally we we'll have a key fob where you press the lights, the light check, and it automatically does all the lights for you. So we haven't got one of them. Not yet, we're just waiting for it. You do the walk round then. I'll check your brakes and your reverse lights. It's been a while since I've done this, to be honest. Yeah. Then I'll go around, check all the side lights, because side lights are an absolute pin for going out. <laughs> all my lights work. 
them red lights work. Oh, and red lights. <laughs> Would you check the tyres as you're walking around? Yeah, I didn't really think of doing that now. But you want to walk around again? I was going to walk around again. Right, we'll do it twice. Right, I'll, I'll do it now. You do it now? Yeah. <laughs> She'll do it now. So on the trailer, we're lucky enough to have these lovely pointers. So if these aren't facing each other, then we know we've got a nut that's loose. Yeah. But they all look good to me. Make sure, you know, there's nothing bulging out the tyre. And it's got... Air in. Air in it. <laughs> and the tread depth is... The minimum tread depth of on a HGV is. It's um. Well, this could go horribly wrong. One point five, one, one mil all the way around. No. No. One mil across at least three, three quarters, quarters of the circumference of the of the tire width of the tread. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. So I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, I did. I just... See, that's why assessments are important. <laughs> yeah, it looks good. Yeah, leave that alone. Is there anything else? Why are you asking me? Because you're on the assessment. I just thought you might want to... Yeah, so actually, out. one thing I didn't do was check the outer for any damage. Do you want to tell you what you missed? Oh, no. Is it important? Full beams? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And vehicle height indicator in the pad. Oh. Yes. I mean, obviously, this trailer isn't higher than the cab, so you wouldn't usually change it. I always put 14.1 on my height sticker because then I can't go wrong. I don't know if you can get wrong for that or not, but it's better than it being too low. So usually at this point you'd give the driver directions or you'd tell them you're going to give them directions. And carry on. And yeah, but you know where we're going anyway. We're going to King's to drop this trailer off. Yeah, I don't know where that is. I know it's in Corby somewhere. It's Market Harbour. Market Harbour. So you'll I'll have to direct you, me. I shall give you the postcode to put in the satellite. Okay. Whilst driving in the cab, <laughs> um, a jumper, a gilet, a hat, and they're all truck class. So if you want one, visit the truck class website. Truckclasshaulage.com. I was doing thirty. Make the rules. <laughs> That's what the RHA told me. Wow. All right then. That's better. Is that good enough? Oh, yep. look, it's another one. Maybe it wasn't safe to leave the junction. That's busy all day long. <laughs> oh, I'm starting to get a little bit nervous there. 
I can see where we're heading towards a little bridge. <laughs> but it's all right, we're turning in just before. Thank God. Good old King Trailers. I think they want to show us around as well. Oh, do they? I think so. I think they want us to buy a trailer. Well, after having this trailer for a week, I can highly recommend them. Like, they're really, it's not just, like, the trailers are really good, but the people here are actually really good with their customers as well. Am I going in there? Straight up there. That way. That's where I picked it up from. But yeah, we would highly recommend King Trailers. I think you passed the reversing element. I'm a good reverser. I pride myself on me reversing. <laughs> And then obviously number plate and then that's it. <laughs> so all I could mark you down for was you didn't check the full beams, right? But you didn't check the height. But I'll let you off because obviously you know that that's not higher than the cab. Yeah. But if you was picking up a cat inside, then then yeah, definitely could check the height. Just show everybody what the height sticker looks like in the truck for those that don't know. <laughs> um, mirror signal manoeuvre. <laughs> you signalled before you check the mirror. Do I? Sometimes, and also you didn't check each passing HGV, which you're supposed to do. But yeah, apart I'd from like that, to know if, ev like if every other truck driver out there, every time a lorry drives past the opposite way, are you looking in your mirrors? No, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> so, is that a pass? Well, not checking the height is a fail. That's not just a minor, that's a no, fail. That's a fail. So you failed. <laughs> that's him. Sorry about you that. said you'll let me pass on that. Well so, yeah, on this occasion, but on this that, occasion. technically that's a fail. Right, okay, so failed guys. Failed. Failed a driving. Always assessment. check your height of the trailer it matches up to your height sticker in the cab. Unless you've got a low loader. <laughs> Unloaded. <laughs> well, where are we going now? Starbucks. Starbucks. Again. <sighs> no HGV. No HGVs in here. Oh, we'll just park up the side here. We've not got a trailer on, isn't it? Well, I knew not to bring a trailer in. Yeah, they're checking the electric cables. That's cool. Well, that is us back at the yard now. We've dropped the trailer off at King's and also done a driving assessment and failed apparently. Um, 
but yeah make sure you guys like and subscribe to keep up to date with us and we're going to drop the links below to shop the merch so if you want anything have a look on the website and we will see you in the next video